today's history change maker is Daniel Hale Williams, born January 18th. 1856, and I picked him specifically because it's Wellness Wednesday. He's a doctor, and also he's known for being the first, this is 1893, mind you, the first to perform, the first documented successful pericardium, which is open heart surgery. This is for my man Don here, who had a heart attack uh, and has survived it. He also founded Chicago's Provident Hospital and was the first, which was the first non segregated hospital in the United States. I mean, we're, we're talking about health care here, hospitals. First, a non-segregated integrated hospital was created and founded by a Black doctor. And he also founded an associated nursing school for Black nurses. Why? Because they couldn't go to white school. So again, born in 1856, raised in Holiday, Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. His father, Daniel Hale Williams, Jr., so he's the third, was the son of a Scots-Irish woman and a black barber. Hmm, there you go. Black man, white. Mm. She wasn't white then. She was Scots-Irish. Was not white in 1856, so that was not an interracial marriage. Sit on that for a second. Uh, his mother uh, was likely, they said, was likely uh, biracial. He was the fifth child born to uh, his Scots-Irish mother, and black father who was a barber and they lived uh together free of course uh and the family eventually moved to annapolis maryland and shortly after williams was uh nine his father died of tuberculosis and the mother realized that she could not manage the entire family so she sent some of the children to live with relatives that was a common common practice after moving to nearby janesville wisconsin man uh, Williams became fascinated with the work of, of a local physician and decided to follow his path. He apprenticed. We are, we are solely, to me, sorely missing the apprenticeship in, in our society today. Uh, Dr. Henry W. Palmer was a black doctor who uh, Daniel Williams, Dr. Williams, apprenticed under, and he studied with him for two years. He entered Chicago Medical College in 1880 now known as now Northwestern University Medical School. And he graduated from there in 1883 and opened his own medical office in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and you can read up more about what he did, but I think the most important thing, first of all, uh, two things I want, uh, three actually, that I wanna pull out of this, and these are breadcrumbs that you guys should follow. Uh, number one, apprenticeship is important. I try to model it here on the Karen Hunter Show. Just about every co-host that has come through this, through these, these three hours end up with their own show. Uh, because that's what that's supposed to look like. You're supposed to, you know, shepherd people through, build lanes for them. Daniel Williams, not only apprenticed, but then he turned around and opened a school for women in particular to become nurses. And then he had the first hospital in the country to, to bring people in because there was a need to fill. We talk, we're talking today about all of these issues that we have in this country, but this is, I, I don't know if you could have more issues in the 1800s in this country. If, as a black person, I think life was worse. And yet, instead of complaining, Dr. Daniel Hale Williams and many others decided, what can I do about this? Okay, I'm going to do it. Not to mention his brilliance, being the first to successfully open a heart and repair it. Come on now. Yeah. That's important. So that's Daniel Hale Williams, our change maker.